coach heading into this one the Sixers have the best field goal percentage best three point percentage in the league I mean granted they're down a couple guys but still defensively did you like what you saw tonight yeah I thought the we came out with a lot more intensity our guys were flying around and it was a big concern going into the game because obviously with the guys that they had out <laughs> putting more shooting on the floor and spreading us out that was a big concern, but our, I thought our guys did a really good job of getting into the ball and then flying around, making a second and third effort, and also challenging shots. And so that, that makes a big difference. You don't have Nerlens Noel for that second half, but late in this game before you brought Julius back in, you played small for a stretch. I mean, you, you know, that was that's what you had tonight, but also it worked. What did you see from that small ball lineup? Yeah, and uh, I thought RJ at the four was really good. Uh, and Drummond is, is a load to deal with, but then when they downsized that, we actually were putting Jericho into the game, but then they, they took out uh, um, Drummond, and so we they really downsized, and so we went with, with five smalls, and, and we had Obi, I think, in there at that time as well. Julius, last five minutes of the game, I mean, he hits big shot after big shot. That's what he does. But what did you see there? Uh, he was a monster uh, if all, all the way around. I thought the way the game started, the energy that he was playing with, it set the tone defensively. He and Nerlens were all over the place. Uh, our guards were into the ball. Uh, and then the way Julius closed the game, uh, it was one big shot after the next, and he did it in a variety of ways. It was the three um, attacking the board, and when he plays like that, it's you know it makes us a, a different team. Huge, huge. You know those are monster plays because the game is basically on the line. And uh, that's who he is. The, uh, there's no moment that's too big for him, you know. So, on the road, you know, he'll get to a good spot. And even the drive where Julius got the putback, he he made sure he got the ball over Drummond, and then we we were in position to to get that putback. So, I thought his o overall play down the stretch, he he and uh, Julius had great chemistry in the pick and roll there, and they created a lot of good offense. Yeah, and you know, like, and I said this many times about I want them to be vocal. I want everyone to use their voices. That's a big part of leadership. But I also want them backing it up with their actions, and the actions will always reflect one's priorities. And so, when they're doing the right things, good things are going to happen. The defense was good. The rebounding effort was good. Sharing the ball, taking care of the ball, that was good. So. You know, and there's still, you know, we won today. There's, you know, a lot to work on. You know, we got, it doesn't end. So we can't feel too good about ourselves. And that's what we're learning. And this, in this league, it's dangerous every night. I didn't get the update other than, you know, it's his knee. And so, uh, you know, we'll see how he responds to uh, treatment tomorrow. But yeah, he was, he was incredible at the start of the game. So. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't hear all of it. Yeah, I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. And it's a credit to the Sixers. They, uh, you know, they've been shorthanded the the whole season, and they're and they're playing great basketball. And I think, and and that's really a big part of the league is that you can't get here without being a great player. And oftentimes you see it all the time where guys are out and someone steps up and they have they have a huge game, and so. The, I think the, the way the Sixers have won, and obviously, you know, with Embiid, 
Uh, you know, he's you know he's superstar, and they play off him extremely well. But those other guys are really good, and it's sort of when they're down players, Tobias Harris out, Simmons out, Embiid out. They are you know Drummond was incredible. You know, and they, those guys are good players. They got great depth, and they're playing hard as heck. They're playing great defense. They're sharing the ball. They're getting good shots. Their shot profile's terrific. You know, so that's how, and to me, you, you can never underestimate that in this league. And so there's usually a player or two out almost every, every night now. You don't know who's going to be out. But the teams that are shorthanded play incredibly hard. And if you're not matching that intensity, you, you're, you, you, there's a good chance you're going to lose. No, no. And if he, you know, like if he had gone out, Julius would have gone to the center position because they were playing. You know, like Drummond is a he's a monster. He's such a big body, but and Julius can do it. He's had good success against the big guys, but I don't want him to do it for an extended period of time because it takes a lot out of you physically when you're you're banging into that guy time after time after time.